Well, I got uh, 4,999 miles. And I'm on my way to Kokomo to get an oil change done. My first oil change on this truck. Uh, got home last night from a trip to Michigan. Had a great trip. And uh, truck performed pretty much uh, stellar. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Both pulling uh, the RV trailer and uh, uh, hauling my kayak, all the things that I got to do and, and see. Uh, the truck never let me down on any of it. So uh, I think it's best to go into this with the perspective that going to the dealer and having this oil change done for a couple of reasons. Uh, the dealership offers a lifetime warranty. Uh, of course, that falls under uh, the fine print down in the bottom where you sign that says, you know, you have to do these all these intervals as suggested. And of course, this is one of those intervals. So um, I'm okay with having it done there. I'm okay with uh, uh, keeping that warranty intact uh, throughout, even though I have the 100,000 mile warranty on the powertrain. Uh, this, by doing it this way, I extend that to the life of the truck. Uh, or at least that's what I was told. <laughs> Just a bit more follow-up. Uh, as, as I drive, my fuel mileage just continues to get better you can see the speed I'm maintaining about 65 mile an hour uh, with the occasional tap on the brake because I got a red light coming up here and that kicks the cruise off but you can see my fuel mileage is in 24 mile a gallon already um, that's normal when I'm not pulling a trailer or load and I keep my speed uh, in the 58 to 65 mile an hour range but uh, as I'm coasting, of course, it goes up, but that doesn't uh, have a direct effect on it because I'm just rolling into an intersection. So uh, I'm almost to the dealership. I'm going to jump out uh, when I get there and show you where the oil filter is and the difficulty that's uh, incurred in getting to it. And uh, then I'll pull up into the service area and uh, let them take it from there. But uh, uh, I want to get a visual on that area first before they do the oil change so uh, I'll be there in just a minute okay here's what's going on with the uh, oil filter deal if you get down inside this front right tire wheel well you can see that the oil filter is right there now to me because this truck is brand new there's no oil no no nothing no leaks or anything and uh, I'm hoping to keep it that way so hopefully they do a spank up job of cleaning up after themselves when they drain the three gallons of oil out of this thing okay my oil change is done and as you can see even the uh, service technician not the speedy lube but the actual service department technician that did it um, Looks like he made a mess just getting that filter out of there. I'm hoping that uh, oil on those wire harnesses and looms and stuff like that isn't going to be an issue. Yesterday was uh, six days after that oil change. And I happened to notice drips of oil in my driveway. Underneath where my truck usually sits. I usually park right here. So last night when I got home... I pulled over here so that I didn't keep dripping. I don't know what the deal is, but a truck as new as this, 5,000 miles, shouldn't have dripping oil anywhere. So let's take a look. Here's the back side of the differential. And there is my oil pan underneath this Cummins motor. 
But look what we got up here. I gotta pinch my way around here. Look at this. We got oil. All over underneath here. Look right here on this this bolt head. Both of these. Look at that oil. What's the deal here, people? I take it to a dealer to have my first oil change done because I trust that my uh, $65,000 truck is in good hands with the people that manufacture and maintain them. But this turns out to be uh, less than impressive with their service department. It's a an oil change. You know, you want to maintain your warranty. Look at all that. You want to maintain your warranty, and to do that, you have to uh, have your service records in order, which I always do. And I usually always do my own oil changes, but you know what? They talk about this lifetime crap. Um, as long as you have uh, dealer services done. Oh, I see oil even up here. What the hell's the deal? They must have splashed that stuff all over the place. Let me get a better angle on this. Okay, I'm directly underneath, uh, I guess, the fan shroud. Uh, just forward of the axle. And I got oil all over the damn place. What's the deal here? None of this was here before I took it in for the oil change. So here I, I can see what's going on. The oil filter itself is... I'll find my hand here. oil filter itself is back inside here. This is underneath the front looking towards the back. And when they took that oil filter down, they spilled oil inside this tray right here, which comes out. And underneath here has some sort of a spout. I guess to catch oil, to funnel it, to something. But you know, when you're on underneath the truck, it's up on the lift. You should be able to do this and keep it clean. But apparently these jackasses weren't able to do that. So much for being uh, ASE certified and quality control. I think I might have to call and talk to their service department and see what uh, what the deal is. Because I'm not going to stand for this. It's a bad deal all the way around. Everything under here has got oil on it. All right, that's enough. All right, I'm climbing out. And uh, here's that rag. What was a, a clean white paper towel. This is just what I wiped off on the surface. There's more up under there, but I got to get... I got to get it up on ramps to be able to reach it. So, I'm not at all pleased with this dealer. And uh, let's see what they do for making making it right. I paid $127, I believe, for an oil change. We'll see where that takes it. And just for clarification, before I even left the dealer, I uh, lifted the hood and I found they, they had oil dripped all over up here. So one of the things I need to do now is check the oil in this thing. Because I don't know if it 
what's dripping on my driveway and and underneath this truck is just residual or if there's an actual leak so let me check this real quick Dipstick's about three feet long. I got it clean. It's right at the full mark. So at least I'm safe that way. <laughs> <laughs> 